Manifestations of Kindness to Animals in Islam The Islamic religion paid great attention to animals and gave them great care, through several commandments that teach people how to deal with them. The following is a mention of some aspects of animal welfare. Animal Welfare Concept The Islamic religion views the animal as an important and useful part of human life. Animals help man to build this land and the continuity of life on it, and we see this realistic view by mentioning the animal in many Islamic fields, and the most prominent evidence of this is the presence of many Quranic surahs that bear the names of animals, such as Surat al-Baqarah, Al-Anam, al ankabut and Elephant, and other surahs. The Islamic religion was very keen on kindness and taking care of animals, and kindness to it means a person's avoidance of looking at the animal as a means of service, food, clothing, and others only, rather, animals have a moral aspect that a person must take care of, as well as make good company with them, and prevent them from harming them, such as depriving her of food and drink, or burdening her with pregnancy, or not taking care of her during illness. Controls for Animal Slaughter Islam has set a set of controls when slaughtering animals that a Muslim must follow, including that the Muslim sharpens the blade well before slaughtering so that the animal is not tormented, and that he waters it with water before slaughtering it, as he, may God's prayers and peace be upon him, says, God has decreed kindness for everything. The Messenger of God, may God's prayers and peace be upon him also forbade the animal from seeing the slaughtered animal while sharpening the blade, when he passed by a man doing that and said to him, didn't he accept this, or do you want to put it to death? It is forbidden to differentiate between an animal and its young. The Islamic religion forbade the differentiation between animals and their young, and this is clear from the position of the Messenger of God, may God's prayers and peace be upon him, when he was on a journey with his companions, as Abdullah bin Mursaud, may God be pleased with him, narrates this and says, we were with the Messenger of God on a journey, so we saw a russet. Colon a bird resembling a sparrow, with it having two chicks, so we took them, and the rod came as a perch, meaning, it flaps its wings. Who afflicted this one with her son? They returned her son to her. It is forbidden to use an animal as a hunting object. The use of animals as symbols for hunting is one of the prohibited matters that the Messenger of God, may God's prayers and peace be upon him, prohibited in his honorable hadith, he says, do not take anything in which the soul is a purpose, that is, it is not permissible to use an animal as an object such as leather and wood for the purpose of training in archery. Stock and that is because of the torture and killing of animals without benefit and benefit, and God, glory be to him, has commanded us to slaughter animals gently and to stay away from violence. Reward for Animal Welfare Kindness to animals is one of the acts of worship that if a Muslim does it, his sins will be forgiven, and the evidence for this is what came in the hadith of Abu Hera, may God be pleased with him, on the authority of the messenger, may God's prayers and peace be upon him, he said, so he drank and then went out, and behold, a dog was panting, eating the soil out of thirst, then the man said, this dog has reached as much thirst as the one that had reached me, so he went down the well and filled his shoes, then the dog caught him, so God's messenger gave him thanks. We have a reward for the animals, he said, there is a reward for every moist liver, 
and it is concluded from this hadith that kindness to animals is one of the reasons for God's forgiveness of the sins of the servant. Reward and Reward God, the Majestic and Most High, commanded kindness to animals and arranged for that a great reward, and the evidence for this is that when the companions heard the story of a man who watered a dog, God forgave him for his sin and admitted him to paradise, they asked the messenger of God, may God's prayers and peace be upon him, about their kindness to animals and their care, do they take it for him? A reward. So the messenger of God, may God's prayers and peace be upon him, answered them, there is a reward for every wet liver, and it follows from the hadith that benevolence to everything in which there is a soul deserves reward and reward from God Almighty. Severe and severe heat will obtain reward from God, the Most High, in this world and the hereafter.